Hi Tammy, it's me, Deb. Um, thank you for responding to me. Um, I thought I could go ahead and respond to you with the video as well, even though I look a mess. Um, my face is really red, um, having problems with um, sleep apnea, and so I get um, lack of oxygen sometimes, and I get these red bumps on my face, and well, not bumps, but red. It looks like a rash, I guess, like sunburn almost. Anyway, um, about your video, or your response, I took a few notes because there was some things I wanted to talk to you about. I hope you don't mind. Um, I really appreciate you um, spending the time to address my concerns and questions and whatnot. I really appreciate that. So, um, Okay, first of all, the case study that you mentioned um, about people that have the surgery and um, having people that think they have the surgery and find out if they both lose weight. Um, I tend to disagree with that because um, the reason why gastric bypass is so successful is for one, um, you don't feel hungry. And for two, you can only eat a certain amount and certain things or you will get sick. So, I mean, it's a big difference than somebody saying, okay, well, I can, I should only eat this much, or um, I really shouldn't eat this, because um, what's going to happen is the person, if they're overweight, they're going to feel very weak all the time, and they're going to feel hungry all the time, which can lead to um, depression, anxiety, you know, somewhat a little bit of suffering, and hunger, and probably stress that um, it wouldn't be very healthy for somebody to do it that way physically or mentally. Um, a lot of the best way I think to lose weight is to change the lifestyle of the way that you eat and exercise but that's not an easy task for some people when they're overweight. Um, for me for example with my leg um, being overweight and having um, chronic damage to my right leg. It is very hard for me to exercise and it's very hard for me to even be mobile. I mean, I go to the grocery store and, you know, it takes us probably an hour, an hour and a half to get finished with our groceries at, you know, Walmart or something. And by the time that's done with, I am in so much pain and I have to recuperate for three to four days because my leg would be will be as hard as a rock you know it's not like I can just exercise every day because I can't <laughs> it's literally not gonna happen I'm you know it's not like I'm sitting down or laying down constantly or 24 hours a day no but I can't exercise or be active like a normal person and there's a lot of people in my situation that are not able to do those things because of other health reasons and so, um, I don't know, I think if I was told to eat those portions or those amount of portions, which I've tried it actually because I was, you know, my mentality was like the same as what you're thinking right now. I was, well, if this is what they're eating and this is what they're told to do and I could do that and I don't have to have the surgery, well, I've tried it. And what happens is I am a diabetic as well and my blood sugar gets low and I get weak and I'm not getting enough, um, whatever, I don't know, I just, I get, like, dizzy and, I don't know, I think we just, if we have larger stomachs, if we're larger people, we just need to eat more to, um, to fulfill us, I guess, I, I really don't know how to explain it, but I don't think that somebody overweight and without surgery or some type of, um, prescription drug or whatnot will be able to eat so little and make it through it. I really don't. And not to mention, if they did, I really think they'd have a really hard time um, and miserable life trying to keep that weight off like that. Always feeling hungry and, you know, it's just, I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, let's see... Yeah, you said you could have lost, um, you think you could have lost the weight with portion control, and I just don't understand how you would deal with that, because I think the hunger would overweigh your portion controls, and you would just, you would have to eat, you would just have to, otherwise, you know, you'd be miserable. 
And, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm looking at my little notes here. <laughs> um, and I'm laying on my stomach in my office and this little chase lounge I have. And it's actually pretty comfy, but I look pretty weird. So don't mind the video. Anyway, um, yeah, and I wanted to thank you because I really do appreciate the concern about my leg and my health. Um, I was actually pretty impressed that when you responded to my my comment, um, you mentioned my leg. I was like, wow, she really listened to my videos. So anyway, um, I just want to thank you for paying attention. That really means a lot. And um, about that part, um, my doctor claims it would really help me because he says carrying so much weight is you know, worse for my leg, and, um, since it makes me hard, makes it hard for me to exercise and be active and mobile, that, um, it'll help me overall, and also they are saying that, um, gastric bypass is a cure for diabetes, so I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what they say. So, being a diabetic, having my leg problems and whatnot, I think it would, it could be really beneficial for me. Um, I am 31 years old. I always forget. I, <laughs> I don't even like to say I'm 30. I, like, I wish I was 29 still, but anyway. Um, I'm 31 years old. I have a 12-year-old son that um, is very active. He is into sports and likes to go to Six Flags and stuff like that. And it just kills me inside that I can't do that kind of stuff with him. And I can't. I can't fit in a roller coaster. I can't, um, well, I could, but not comfortably. <laughs> Um, you know, there's just so much that I can't do, and it's so depressing, and I just, I want to be a part of his life before that it's too late. Um, I want him to be proud. I want to be able to do things with him that he enjoys, not just things that I'm able to do. Um, I don't know, there's, my husband's very physically active as well. He likes to go running, and it just saddens me. I mean, I have a two-year-old German Shepherd also that I can't take for a walk because, believe it or not, I live on a street that it's uphill both ways. And going up that hill, it's just so hard on my legs that I get home and I'm just throbbing. There was one time when I walked up to the top of my street and I was going to go around the block and I couldn't make it all the way. I had to stop in the middle of the street, sit down and take a break and come home. I couldn't even make it around the block. I just needed to take a break, turn around and come home before I was just lying there, you know, and not able to do anything. So anyways, there's just so many reasons why I need this surgery and why I think it'll be beneficial to me. And I just pray to God that, you know, it's going to help me and I can give, make it through it and be as lucky as the rest of you guys. And, um, Thank you so much for, for listening to me, and um, I wish you luck on your infusion tomorrow, and I will be praying for you, and keep your chin up, you're beautiful.